imagine there is a small close knit community a town a village on the highland mountains in india and suddenly someone has been found murdered now how will the cops investigate this mystery when everyone knows everyone well that's the story of rautu karaz so today we'll be reviewing this so stay tuned Welcome everyone to Review Magic. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sid Kumar, and we review Bollywood, Hollywood, and all sorts of global movies and shows. Now let's get into the plot of Rautu Ka Raaz. Now this is a movie that just came out in 2024. Rautu is a small village in the state of uttarakhand in india so you know that's small that you know it's close knit everyone knows everyone and all of a sudden uh, what uh, people discover is that the warden of a particular school has been found murdered so the lead investigator now is getting into his act and he wants to solve this high profile investigation and ultimately there are some dark secrets that he uncovers as the team is uh, you know uh, uncovering the truth so that is the story of rotu ka raz and now we're going to get into the review and analysis of this particular movie so the trailer and the title certainly was intriguing to me you know every time i have to watch a movie i'll watch the trailer and that's when i will decide whether i want to watch this movie or not so you see a lot of movies like these that come out in bollywood you know they like whether it's in the in the town of you know shimla in the state of himachal pradesh or this one in the state of uttarakhand you know these kind of movies uh, tend to look very simple and innocent from the outside but as you start to uncover all the layers you know you're going to find uh, there is a dark mystery that is lurking so it makes it very interesting so the trailer was promising and you know i said all right i got to watch rotu ka raz as i mentioned rotu is this small town in in the state of uttarakhand and that's where this murder happens and rotu ka raz is it means the mystery of rotu my analysis uh, i certainly will say that this is an interesting dark thriller and why that is because you know when when certain crime happens in a small community you always question yourself like how did this happen i mean people are so innocent that live in these communities you know they're not living in a larger metropolitan areas like delhi mumbai hyderabad or something like that so general feeling is that you know people are happy they are content and in the midst of all this you know a murder happens so it kind of you know it's it's surprising and and the news spreads like fire so that's that's the initial scene of the movie now the the initial scene is where you see that a lady is trying to cajole a small boy and then all of a sudden nawazuddin siddiqui who's the main protagonist here he goes by inspector negi you know he gets a call from his colleague and he, and you know he say there's a murder that has happened and then nawazuddin siddiqui gets gets out of his bed he gets out of his room and he stares at the mountain so that is one scene that i thought was a bit confusing to me because i didn't understand what was the opening scene what is the message behind it and why were they showing it and then nawazuddin siddiqui when he wakes up of course he wants to now come to the crime scene but he he goes there there is a temple and you know they are trying to show that after a certain event there is kind of trashy stuff left behind and then of course he looks at the mountains beautiful scenery but i still don't get the gist of what is going on i mean certainly there are some elements that are connected to his past that are bothering him uh, i get that and but it's just kind of fuzzy it's unclear as to what is exactly is happening you know you you see some threads connecting to his life but you just kind of leave it and move on now as namazuddin siddiqui played by inspector deepak negi you know when he gets a call from rajesh kumar who's the other actor supporting actor in this movie he goes by the name naresh dimri so they reach the crime scene but naresh rajesh has reached 
the crime scene with his deputies before and then they start to look at the crime scene now what you see here is you know this hodgepodge effort the casualness that you will see and i thought that this was something that uh, was unexpected i mean clearly this is a small town i get it but there are other movies also you see and indian cinema has you know caught up to the global standards at least you know getting copies of ideas and so on and you know you see a very lackluster casual approach body is moved gloves are not worn and why would you want to show this kind of an approach you know it just baffles me yeah? i mean do your investigation properly at least till the point where the lead inspector is going to come and he's going to give his input to you but it just seems like the team doesn't act professionally you know they are not collaborating their mistakes they have touched the body here and there and they're now trying to rectify their mistakes which i thought was a, such a big blunder especially getting into this movie there is a fabric that has to be kept tight and this kind of movie lacks that i mean there are a lot of thrillers that you see around they kind of keep it very utmost very professional you know the way things are found the, the the way they are collected but it kind of feels you know there is no the area is not sealed it's just you know lack of preparation on the part of this police team that is investigating so which is kind of disappointing to see now this murder has happened in a disability school that's another question that i was asking myself like why would you do this in this special school i mean what is so different about it you could just have had done this in a regular school so i'm not sure why that uh, has happened but nevertheless the story moves on the investigation starts to happen on the part of nawazuddin siddiqui and Inbe- inspector negi and they're trying to interview a lot of people uh, as uh, the investigation starts starting with the owner of the school uh, who visits uh, every now and then the school but lives somewhere else you start to see that the suspect list starts to keep growing and growing sometimes it's the owner sometimes it's the owner's son sometimes it's past assistant to the principal but nevertheless i do want to tell you that this is a slow movie it tends to make you feel that it's kind of getting too slow you know every scene after scene feels like maybe this scene was not required maybe they could have added some pace to it but it just has it just takes more time than audience would want to watch in a thriller movie but there are some really good scenes also you know they kind of mix the crime scenes with you know the mountain scenery the nature it's picturesque you know you see the police station you kind of see the main ring roads you see the so it's kind of blend in with that uh, and i think that is one thing that kind of complements overall the nature of the investigation that is happening in road to karaz there's also one thing very interesting in this thing you know they show that very early that the parents of in- inspector negi they come they tell him that he doesn't come and visit uh, them and i'm still baffled to understand like why he doesn't visit them as to what is the past or the history with his former wife or someone that and the acting on their part looks a bit uh, awkward on his parents uh, parents side and um, you know sometimes you look in the movie i feel like there were way too many characters that you feel are unnecessary i talked about the assistant the current assistant of the principal uh, you know he's given some task to you know get some intelligence the guy for some reason um, i just felt was not needed there are just some people that are just when you when you see the movie you are going to understand what i'm talking about and also at 1 hour 54 minutes rotokara seems like it's a it's a pretty long movie you know you start and you know by the time the ending happens you start to feel can this movie come to a closure so it gets stressed it gets a little boring and you know i remember growing up you know i used to watch some pankaj kapoor the legendary veteran actor you know his his uh, thriller movies that were based in uh, hilly stations and this, this was just an hour long shows that he would do his style his personality was very assertive you know and there is no bullshit in his you know, story plot the way he's uncovering truth. but this wasn't the case in this i had lot of hopes and expectations from nawazuddin siddiqui uh, with the screenplay which at sometimes has some good dialogues but overall it just feels like the lacklusterness the casualness he's not getting the support from his team or he's just trying to show it's a one man thing and that's where things kind of you know 
take off for road to Kuraz. it could have been a much more you know interesting and you know hardcore crime thriller movie i mean someone has died and someone needs justice for that but it's a very too it's too long movie to just look into too many moving parts someone's relationship someone unnecessary characters the scenes are sometimes too long that's where the flavor of road to Kuraz is also lost in my opinion and then you see in the midst of all this, you know, there's, there are ministers, politicians, corruption is involved. There are big people who are trying to grab the land of the school. And speculations are that because of that, this girl, uh, this warden may have been killed. It almost feels like, you know, everyone, no one gives a damn about someone's death. You know, life just moves on way too quickly, which is, which seems very unlikely in a small town. People are not grieving. The warden doesn't have any parents or family. She's orphaned now. And it's just something that some characters, like I mentioned previously, they are more focused on just trying to, you know, get some spotlight but they don't have to be there so it's a kind of a you know a movie that it doesn't feel like this this movie had its you know great spontaneity or you know it had the elements of a thriller that could keep you glued for too long people could almost stop watching in the middle i'm pretty sure but i i saw the entire movie but there is one last thing that i want to say in my review and analysis section is that the ending is something that you have to wait to watch what it is because i'm not giving any spoiler alerts and that is the key element that will define the road to karaz but overall guys uh, i thought it is a average kind of a movie in my opinion i had a lot of hopes given that there were a lot of you know seasoned actors in this movie but that's where i leave with the analysis all right so let's talk about direction now because the the review and the analysis was kind of mediocre the direction of course is also choppy it's mediocre uh, i think the director wanted to say something but he's saying too many things we are different people and uh, there is that surprise element at the end but uh, it doesn't come up with a loud bang you know it just is very subdued like okay this happened let's let's move on now so it is a good story but i feel that that pace was missing in road to Karaz. you know the director he could have added a bit more intensity uh, some live action chasing people you know better drone footages you know kind of even when he does catch some suspects it's more like comical stuff that has happened so i think the movie is leading more towards a dark comedy that also doesn't give that does i don't think that applies to it it's trying to move towards in between comedy and you know a murder mystery thriller but it doesn't kind of find its sweet spot here so the onus is on the director and i don't think he did very laser focused job in trying to make sure like what kind of movie my audience wants to see so ariana that's a show on on netflix that is kind of similar to this but that has a great components of you know being a good thriller so i i think he also should have got more out of his actors you know there were some really good uh, acting actors actors in this movie not too many but there were very few and he could have got something more out of Nawaz and Siddiqui from Rajesh Kumar but that doesn't happen so I'm kind of disappointing in the way the direction unfolded all right, so let's talk the acting department. I mean, nevertheless, I mean, Nawaz and Siddiqui is so brilliant in his acting. He tries to do justice in his role. He's a veteran actor. He's raw. He's But somehow that intensity is missing. But I can't blame Nawazuddin for that. I think the screenplay doesn't really evolve his character to that level where he can deliver that message. Even when he goes to talk to the prime suspect, he kind of feels stymied from the suspect. I mean, he needs to come out more stronger. And I felt that role was... Was, was almost feels like a misfit for him because he's uh, Nawaz Siddiqui does very well in some other broader kind of roles but in this one I felt that this was too easy on his part and he didn't really perform for, for whatever reason to that level which you want good thing to see is Rajesh Kumar I mean he's a seasoned television actor and to see him there in the movie supporting Nawaz Siddiqui was good to see but I felt even in his role also you know there could have been some elements some scenes which showed the intensity at in Rajesh Kumar's face. I mean, you don't see that. You just feel, oh, this is some murder has happened. Let's do some acting, kind of, you know, go with the flow, kind of. But 
that passion should have been there i mean sometimes you see movies and these even co-stars are talking to each other and you know you kind of see there in their facial expressions and all that so that leads me to the cinematography i mean cinematography also you know just just try to captures the mountains but there's not the dark filter that you see in movies like you know shows like ozark sometimes i feel there is too much focus on the police station and why would you do that i mean it doesn't really make sense to me definitely you know as i was telling you that you know you got to show some uh, element of surprise and a camera work good camera work can do that but i feel uh, it kind of has that average aspect to it you know show exp- surprise show some element and and big opportunity was missed even with some photography i mean filmmaking is all about the components coming together it's not just one era and i felt cinematography could have done much more than just showing the mountains or you know the police station from outside could have done some close ups it could have done some drones footage chasing people this and that this is a thriller you know kind of show something that evokes suspense so that's on the cinematography side let's go on to the editing side so the movie definitely is too long it's it needs to be chopped certain characters don't need to be there they could have shown moving clouds they could have shown you know some you know as i said some color filters it's, it's still unclear to me you know you you're showing some worship happening in uh, the police station why is that needed so you know it's it's too much uh, the editing part also is disappointing to me i think th- that that could have been made much more you know streamlined flowed in a way that feels like the movie is connected and it doesn't feel slow like i talked about in the beginning all right so my last portion of this review which is should you watch this movie or not so certainly if you are a fan of nawazuddin siddiqui if you like small town crime thriller drama this is a one time watch guys and and yes you can watch it with your family without fearing that oh there is going to be some scenes uh, you know i need to change the remote that's not going to happen here but yes the movie doesn't give that impact that would be required from fans that love thrillers and also you know nawazuddin siddiqui but it definitely doesn't have too many frills there's not too much going on in a small town of you know uttarakhand so there's only limited things you will see in the movie so it kind of feels like all right you know if you feel you're in the mood of you know a crime with not too much fluff you can kind of give it a watch so i'm going to give it 5 out of 10 guys and if you like this review please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel or you can comment below to tell me how you felt about uh, rutu karaz but until then this is siddharth kumar signing off and we'll see you next time bye bye